Joining me on the line right now is the former vice president of the International Olympic Committee, former president of the World Anti-Doping Association, Dick Pound, one of the foremost crusaders against the use of drugs in sports, which unfortunately keeps coming up again and again. And most recently we had the story about performance enhancing drugs in baseball and the report that's being accumulated about the various uh, uh, well, elite players in baseball now who have been uh, uh, um, accused of using performance-enhancing drugs. There was talk um, as the information was being collected that after the All-Star break, the suspensions were going to be announced. Some of those suspensions were, were going to be quite lengthy. Well, it didn't happen. Now there's talk it's going to be done after the season. So I guess, Dick, first thing I want to ask you about is um, the report comes out. It's been a while now, but uh, is, there, is there any end to it? Well, it, it, hard to say. I, I mean, baseball has come very late to even the acknowledgement of the problem uh, of drug use in the sport, let alone dealing with it in an effective manner. So uh, this is this delay, I think, is typical of the way in which they've approached the whole uh, question. They've been dragged kicking and screaming into uh, uh, a realization that the, the sport is filled with it. The thing I wanted to ask you is about, and, and you and I may differ about this, I thought when they were going to announce the suspensions and they were going to do it after the, uh, the All-Star break, I thought, you know what, you do something like that, you're really going to affect uh, the, the way the, the, well, the way it is right now in terms of the standings. You're going to take these, you're going to take a noble stand, but, uh, you know, the games are already half, the season's halfway uh, underway and you try to do something like this, you're basically going to disrupt the game itself. I thought if you're going to do something like that, do it after the season, you know, where teams aren't handicapped because it, it's just there's so many different legalities that are going through something like this. Is your opinion different that you think maybe they should have done it right away after the All-Star game? I think the sooner you uh, deal with people who are known to have been or accused of been uh, using drugs, uh, the better it is. And if you're trying to make the point that this is really a problem affecting the integrity of the sport as well as the health of the players uh, and you know that it's taking place then then act as soon as you know uh, waiting till the end of the season is uh, I think is off message you're saying oh well listen we know they're out there we know that in fact we know they're out there still cheating uh, but that's okay we don't want to disrupt the season uh, if you want to make the statement that this is something that the sport takes seriously uh, let the season finish it as it may with the, the suspensions in place. I don't know whether owners themselves, they hire these ball players, and there's certain rules that the players must follow if they choose to engage in using um, performance-enhancing drugs. They will be penalized. The penalties that they were talking about, about putting in place were going to be larger than ever before. So, again, my opinion was if you're going to suspend these guys for 100 games, is it the fault of the owners that they hire players and the players go on and break the rules? Should the owners be penalized for that or by the fact that they are part of this Major League Baseball as a whole, they have to accept uh, the rulings of the commissioner, otherwise why have a commissioner in place? Uh, exactly. I mean, uh, they're, they're certainly complicit. They're the, they're the ones that uh, are half of the, uh, the collective bargaining agreements and uh, they know perfectly well or, or should know perfectly well that there are players out there using drugs, and if they close their eyes to that, they should have the same sanctions or the same impact as uh, as you would have on the players themselves. Yeah, do you think there should be um, fines put in place for the teams? If you're going to suspend the players, then you should suspend, not suspend, but fine the teams whose players are violating the rules because, to use your word, they're complicit in the breaking of the rules. Uh, and the, uh, the, my answer to that would be, why not? Okay. It's a very, you know, like again. I want to make this work so that everybody uh, on both sides. You want the you want the, the the players that aren't using drugs to be putting peer pressure and saying, "Listen, you're affecting us. You're affecting our playoff hopes. You're affecting uh, our teams. Um, uh, stop it. We don't want this to to continue." 